Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a fun new design team project. So this is a hop for Scrapping Wonders and she sells travelers notebook inserts on Etsy. I will have her links down below so that you can find her um, her shop and also her YouTube channel. I also want to apologize. I am super sick right now. Um, I just got back from being on vacation and what do you know, I am sick. So I am going to try not to sniffle this whole time. I'm not making any promises and I apologize about that. Okay, so now here you can see I just have this scrapbooking insert and I am going to be using these Tim Holtz crayons. And I thought it would be kind of a fun idea to do a little cover page for this um, first page of my insert that she sent me. And my favorite color is purple, and I thought it would be fun to kind of do all the different shades of purple that I had, which was actually only one. <laughs> and then I had a bunch of pink, and then red, and then orange and yellow. So I thought those colors kind of blended well as you went down the line. So I haven't really, really played a whole lot with my crayons and I am still learning. Um, I have noticed that the lighter that you press on the crayon, um, the more, like, the easier it is to blend with water. But the more water you add to the crayon, uh, the more it's going to blend better. So that's really the only advice that I have because I've only had the, well, I've had these for quite a while, but I've only used them, I think this is my second or third time and I'm still learning. I'm not a huge mixed media person. I like it. I just don't use it a whole lot. I need to be better about that. So here you can see I'm, I'm trying to kind of bring in this other piece of paper that's one of the papers that she brought me or sent me in my design team package and then I also had this typewriter in my stash and I thought oh maybe that would be kind of cute down there at this point I really had no idea what I was doing I just knew I wanted to use these crayons and do some mixed media on it so I pulled out my heat gun and I'm just trying to make it a little bit less wet. The paper actually was like it took really well even with as much water as I used and this is um, her scrapbooking in insert. It's not like a mixed media insert or anything. Um, the warping was I think it was normal for a scrapbooking piece of paper like if you were to do um, mixed media on a piece of scrapbooking paper, it would warp. And so this paper was pretty much the same. Like I would compare it to a normal scrapbooking layout. It was really good quality. There was a little bit of warping, but you expect that when you're doing mixed media on just regular scrapbooking paper. Okay, so here I decided to add a piece of washi tape in between each one of the colors. And this is actually one of my favorite washi tapes. Mm. So, whoops, sorry, my dog Max is in here with me, and apparently he doesn't want to be in here. Um, so I keep trying to use that typewriter, but it's just not going to work, and I'm pulling out some stickers, and then I had this, um, I had this cut file already cut out, and I thought I would bring this in, and I really, really love this cut file. I believe this cut file is from... The Hip Kick Club, and I think it's one that Ashley Horton designed. So here you can see I am going to uh, start gluing this down, and I'm not going to include all of this because it takes forever. <laughs> this is a very intricate cut file, and I wanted to make sure all of the pieces were glued down. I didn't want anything kind of um, not being glued down. Now I am just placing that down on the um, the page where I want it to go. I am going to cut off the leaves that are on the right side and I am actually going to stick those 
um, I'm going to stick them onto the page in various spots. So you can see up there at the top and then a couple places at the bottom, there are just kind of some empty spaces. So I'm going to fill those in and I really like how that turns out. Okay, now I have this cut file all ready to go on my page. Since this is a cover page for my TN, I thought it would be good just to have um, my name, Crafty Maggie, be kind of like the title. And so I'm going to glue this down and that is actually going to be all. I thought about maybe putting a photo of me up above um, up above my name, but I decide against it. I just kind of like that you can see the colors underneath the, the floral, floral cut file. Sorry, I'm doing this late at night and I just can't think. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this simple page and make sure that you follow along with the hop. I will have the links to the other design team members down in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great scrappy week. Bye!